y'all doing? I hope everybody's feeling really good, great, and all that little shit. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and all that. Um, all the girls get down on the floor. Bust it open, drop it down, touch your toes. She got money, but she danced like a hoe. Middle finger to a broke, hating hoe, bitch. All the girls get down on the floor. Bust it open, drop it down, touch your toes. She got money, but she danced like a hoe. Middle finger to a broke, hating hoe. Bitch. Tell me how y'all know. So look, y'all know how I do. I just jump right into it. So motherfucking Shirley Strawberry Shirley. What's her name? Shirley Strawberry Strawberry Shirley. Whatever the fuck from Steve Harvey show or whatever. Got the motherfucking YouTube streets on. Fire! Bitch. I love this. Let me just uh, dissect this. You know what I'm saying? It just give my little point of view. And I want y'all to also put, put y'all shit in the comments. Like how y'all feel about the shit. Okay, so everybody already know. Everybody done heard the motherfucking Zoom calls. <laughs> y'all in some dirty motherfuckers. Everybody done heard the motherfucking Zoom calls about the hearing and all this. So shit. Um, his name is Ernest. But he called himself Ernesto. Bitch, if you call your same Ernesto, I'm not even fucking with you. How, what the fuck you mean? What the fuck you mean? So what's your mama name? Maria. Motherfucker, what the fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? But wait, and also just looking at his picture, like, he had a little zest in his eye. You know, like, when a gay guy, you know, like, all gay guys, y'all got that zest. You know, it don't matter, like, if you, like, a regular guy or a guy who, fam or but y'all don't know what the fuck y'all call that shit. But you know, y'all y'all do. Y'all got that in your... It's in the eyes. Everything God said is the window of your soul is through your motherfucking eyes, bitch. And he had... he To me, he had... He was giving up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's just to me. And I could be wrong. Because I'm just looking through a picture. And you know, like pictures sometimes... You see a picture and you think... And when you see a person, you be like, Bitch, that ain't that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because the lighting and all this sort of shit. But anyway... So he uh he was a scammer. He went to prison before, and like not shit no dudes who went to prison, but he went to prison before, and then you know now he got out, and they done did some shit things, and now he get investigated because now he done did some old scammy shit too, and then to top it all off, to top it all off, you had some little young girl. They ain't say how old the 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 girl, but it was some pedophile shit from what they say because she was a young girl. Uh, in, in a very compromising position, whether that's nude or, you know, she bent over to, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Why well, you got that shit on your, let me tell y'all something too. I done told, I don't know if I told y'all, but y'all know this shit is the motherfucking police. Y'all, all this shit. So look, so even if you type in some shit, them motherfuckers, they go straight to that, like, you know, like you looking for young girl sex or some shit like that or whatever. Now, I hope ain't nobody doing that. Like, look, we do not over here condone no pedophile shit, bitch. Just let that be known. But I'm just letting y'all know, like, do y'all know, like, this is how that shit works. So, but whatever, why would you be typing some shit like that in any motherfucking way? So anyway, so it was so that he had that and then the scamming shit. For me, if I was to date like, somebody from prison, right? Like, like, you have to go, bitch, you have to go back to their whole shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what they go to prison for? Like, you know, what what the fuck happened? You know, whatever. All the motherfucking documents that they have on this motherfucker, I would like to read them. You understand what I'm saying? And because, like, he was on that type of time, what makes you think that he won't be on that type of time when he get out? You know what I'm saying? Did he get, I don't know how he, him, maybe he's from uh, Cleveland where Steve Harvey is from because, you know, they, Steve was saying that that was his boy. I guess they know each other personally. I don't know. Or, or he called into the show. I don't know how that shit motherfucking work. But, you know, and she was all kiki with the big ass horse teeth. Um, but yeah, she married that man. But see, this is the thing, people. When you marry somebody, you don't really know that motherfucker. Ain't nobody real up in this bitch but me. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and some other, like, one percenters out in this motherfucker. Like, because everybody, like, put on this motherfucking mask and all this other shit. Like, you know, and don't really be their motherfucking self and, or tell their true motherfucking story. You know what I'm saying? So, 
and and I noticed that like in motherfucking relationships and also working in the sex industry and and all these married men and men who got girlfriends but yet they come in here and fuck whatever the fuck but see but that's a whole nother conversation because you know they just want to get their dick wet but see but they can have this conversation with they with their spouse or whatnot because bitches y'all getting y'all feelings when they ain't got shit to do with you it's just a feeling you know what i'm saying women be having these feelings too but you want to suppress it because the society have told you you know you be a good girl and you know get out now, I am not saying for everybody going out and fucking all that. Don't don't get my words twisted. But what I am recommending for all people in relationships is to have true conversations about sex. Even if the person come, yo, the your significant other come out and tell you that they're attracted to somebody else. Like, what you don't think that he or her will be attracted to somebody else? Like, bitch, you ain't the only beautiful bitch or the bad bitch in the world. Like, and you ain't the only motherfucker who, who, who's a nice looking dude who got a nice dick or who can fuck. Like, Oh, even if you got to bake that, that's because you got to bake that, but you know how to fuck. Like, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, people, y'all make it make motherfucking sense. Like, stop living in this motherfucking fantasy world, you know what I'm saying? And, and be real about the shit. You know what I'm saying? But who knows what's going on? But then again, they did say that uh, uh, Strawberry Shirley, Shirley Strawberry, wrote this letter talking about, you know, how she wanted him to stay out. Then, then she had the shit revoked. She pulled that shit back because they also said that this motherfucker had a girlfriend. Let me tell y'all something about that shit too. A lot of, especially men who got money. I'm not saying that they the worst, but if they got money, first of all, it, he get pussy thrown at him like crazy because cause females know he got money. And you know, what what do a female want? Like, she wants some security. She she want a piece of that bag. She probably like you too. Like, it ain't all about the bag, but if you got it, like, you can make her life a little bit more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so he got, he got, so he got the bag, whatever, the chick's gonna throw the pussy at him and all that. Or then again, he could be a type, a, dog, a man who, who like a lot of what and a lot of men do. Y'all know a lot of women, y'all don't want to hear this shit, like, but it's the truth. A lot of your husbands and boyfriends got somebody on the side that they may be cheating with, or, or I don't even want to call it cheating, because that ain't really what, to me, you know what I'm saying, to, to me. Because I view sex as, like, we're not meant to have sex with, with one person. And if y'all had that type of conversation, and if he also agreed with you, then I guess it would be cheating in that case. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real, motherfuckers. So I wonder how this shit is going to play out with her and all this. And is she going to divorce him and and whatnot? And then I, they also say that she got a, a daughter and a granddaughter. He can't be around them either. So... We'll see. Uh, and then everybody was like, you know, he embarrassed her. How? He's being him. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is another thing, too. I like what Chico Big said. He was like, and this is some real shit, because he said some real shit. Like, look, I ain't got no control over no woman's pussy. That's her shit. She got to wash that shit. That's hers. That's the same thing with a man. And nobody got no control over nobody's shit. Whatever the fuck somebody want to do, whatever they going to do with their life is what the fuck they going to do. If you in the relationship with this motherfucker or not. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you get you get, you get your one percenter, the one of the realest motherfuckers. You know, that's me and one 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 percent the other motherfucker who keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? No, okay, I just recently didn't take, uh, keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck right now. Like it was a dude, I guess he called himself trying to like me, whatever the fuck. We did go on one day, and then I just didn't want to, I, I just didn't, you know, I just didn't feel it. So I never called him, and uh, so I figured he'd just leave it alone. And then, like he did, he called me one day, like maybe two weeks after that, and was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, this, like you called me, and you holding the phone? What the fuck is that? Like, I was like, all right, well, I'll talk to you later. Like, you know, I guess like you, you can. You know, so I wasn't real in that aspect. So I ain't always 100%. You know what I'm saying? But I figured he'd get it. Due to the fact that I really don't owe you no explanation because I don't really know you. We only went on one, one date. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all go on one date with a motherfucker. Motherfucker don't call you, bitch. That means that motherfucker ain't interested. And keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Shit happened to me too. So, but anyway. So I wonder how this shit gonna play out with her. But she's not... I don't know why she would take that as an embarrassment. Like, girl... Like, you already know it. She lived on this earth long enough. She already know how men get down. Not all of them, but I'm just saying. Just just humans in general. You know what I'm saying? So, and also I read this one uh, article where it was these uh, 
really wealthy, who was ma married to billionaires. These were some Caucasian women and uh, they were saying that, you know, they know their husband out doing whatever or whatever the fuck they do. They was just like, just don't embarrass me and keep it on the low or whatever. See, but keeping it on the low, see, you, you, the thing is, see, man, too, like, if you get, when you get you a side check or whatever, you have to make sure that, you know, that this bitch understand her position. Like, bitch, you can't be jumping all out of the lane. Bitch, you stay right here because this is where the fuck you at. And also, you can't be jumping in the lane out of the lane either. You can't be calling her, asking her, you know what I'm saying? Maybe she don't answer your phone and you all acting all er erratic and shit. Bitch, you better calm the fuck down. Your bitch is at home. Like, I see you when I see you. You already know what time it is. Like, look, you have a mutual understanding. So picking so picking somebody that's like, you know what I'm saying, who understand the, the situation will only be beneficial to you. Like, I'm a best child chick ever. Like, forever. forever. I don't say, like, dude, go, baby, go home. Your, your girl done call my phone. Of course, I ain't gonna pull up, because that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, like you know what I'm saying? I hit it with the da 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 Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And boom, and, that, and there it is. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so, but yeah, so we're going to see how that shit play out. I want to, I guess she went divorced. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe she'll stick by him. You know what I'm saying? If she love him. And if she value your, your relationship, if you value it, then you, you're going to stick by him. And I see that he's uh, doing, uh, he may be going to prison, I guess. I get, I, I don't know what, what the outcome would be. Maybe his coin that coin is long enough to where he could possibly um, not have to go that route. You know what I'm saying? I wish nobody go that route. But anyway, yeah, so we'll see what Shirley, Strawberry Shirley, Strawberry Shirley's uh, situation happens after that. Okay, I also want to talk about this shit. Uh, Jocelyn Hernandez. You big back bitch. Now, you know that's a big back bitch. I would not say that to that big back bitch face because my knee hurt and I ain't got time to be trying to fight this bitch. But the one thing, uh, she she was like, you know, she a black woman and all this so shit. Girl, no, you not. Stop. And this Afro-Latina, bitch, if you're African, then you say that. If you believe that that's what you are, then that's what you say. Afro is a motherfucking hairstyle, bitch. And your, and your boyfriend, whoever this, like he so said, he supposed to be African. I think he's some sort of A-Rab or something. The way that he was carrying on in front of that black lady's face, calling her, you a bitch, you know, acting all like, I mean, like crazy, crazy, crazy. Not to say that black man don't do that shit, but I was just like, but looking at him, I'm like, nah, I don't think he's like, now he's like some sort of a rap. So he's he's one of those. You know what I'm saying? He's not African like. You know what I'm saying? Me. You know what I'm saying? And I think that you also playing that role. I find that Hispanic people like to say that they're that they are a part of the the African diaspora. Although they don't say that, they say Afro Latina. They they like to say that is when they got when they fucking black dick and fucking black pussy or they are monetizing off of black culture, and you're doing both. You know what I'm saying? So, so I just don't because I and then like you you gotta peep how they motherfucking get down like them motherfuckers those some disrespectful motherfuckers for real towards black people. So many people are so disrespectful towards black people. I mean, I know y'all jealous because you know we the chosen ones. Although we seem to, as black people, don't seem to understand that nor get it because you've been duped with so many lies and all this sort of shit trying to fit, make you feel like you lesser, trying to make your ancestors feel like they lesser. No, bitch. The lesser is actually you and you know it. So, mm -mm, girl, you can miss me with that. You, you can definitely miss me with that. Mm. No, because you know how y'all motherfuckers get down. Like, just stop with the fuck shit. Stop with the fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? And then now, like, she, you know, she has her daughter, so she be telling her daughter, because her daughter got, um, you know, like, black girl's hair. You know what I'm saying? She be like, I'm telling my daughter that her hair is pretty and that she's pretty and all this sort of shit. And I'm like, yeah, why you say it? Why you got to overstress that? I mean, well, as you should tell all kids that, you know what I'm saying? But when you, but the psychology behind the shit, this, this color and shit, like if you already consider like a, 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 a light skinned yellow chick that you consider already cute and boo, that's so far from the motherfucking truth. But that's, that's just how motherfuckers is wired. And because her daughter isn't that, you know what I'm saying? Like she has more of, 
um, uh, African features and hair and shit like that. So she like really pushing that like, girl, I see all the way through you. You know what I'm saying? But I still like you though. Know? You know what I'm saying? But you a big back bitch. You a big old bitch with a big old back bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, I want to say shout out to everybody who have um, subscribed. My one, two people. I said thank y'all so much. Please leave a comment and all that shit. Let me know what y'all think. What you thinking? What you thinking? How you feel about this shit? Um, hey, y'all know my name is Real. I'm into Missy Coach. Slash seductions with the service called Seductive Art. I'm available for hire for bachelorette parties, girls' nights out events, and private lessons. You can go to my website. Uh, which is seductive-art.com and um, yeah, we can get it popping from there. Um, I'm also an author. The title of my book is called Quickie, a seven short erotic stories. Read why you fuck, fuck why you read. I'm also a designer slash fashion architect. The name of my brand is Real Nice by Real. I'll be having some things coming shortly, so please look out. With that, and if I resonate with you, you know what to do. Please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. And y'all already know how we need this motherfucker. Be kind, be gentle, be considerate, be on time, be focused, be ambitious, be about your motherfucking money, be on time, be gracious, be great at what you're great at, be boisterous, be opinionated, um, be assertive. Uh, black women love the skin you're in. Black people be black and motherfucking proud. Uh, just be all these great things. All you know, all we doing is pushing P around this motherfucker. When we say, when I say pushing P, we pushing positivity. Um, we have a strong connection with God as well. Don't oh, don't ever forget that. Always have that. Um, and in the meantime and in between time, don't ever fold. Don't turn your back. Don't compromise. You always be you because that 